Hey everybody, it's Brian. Welcome to the 40th Flutter tutorial. Today we're going to be going over the simple dialog, which don't let the name fool you. It's anything but simple. It's actually a very powerful and complex piece of code here. So we're going to go over this in detail. First thing we're going to do is bring up our live template. If you have no idea what I just did, go watch video 35 in this series. All right, so import and we're going to work with a sync. So we need the dart a sync. And in here, we're going to modify our state. So we want string. Boy, I cannot spell answer. That's embarrassing. All right, so all right, we've got our answer. Now we're going to ha function that sets this. We're going to say void set answer string value. And from here, we're just going to do the set state. And from here, we're going to say answer. All right, so I just put that little to do there. So if you're using this as a template, you would say, okay, we're to record it to a file or send it to a database or whatever you were working on. So we have our little set answer there. Now we need to actually show the dialog and this is kind of the meat of the tutorial here. No, not num. Jeez, what are you thinking there? I'm going to do ask user. This is an async call. So in here, what we need to do is build a simple switch statement. I'm going to say switch. And in here, we're going to say case Oh, I almost forgot. What we need to do is back up just a bit. Part of what the simple dialog does is it actually can take in a num and display it to the user and get the answer back to them, or get the answer back from them. So we've got our a num here, answer. So we're going to say answer dot yes and then break and via the, let's just do this, set answer. Through the magic of copy and paste, we are just going to make a few of these here. All right, and you could actually process it down here in the switch as most people do, but they're all just gonna call set answer because they're all pretty much gonna do the same thing here. All right, now that we've got our switch, we need to, well, switch. We need a value to switch on. So what we're gonna do is await the show dialog, and it has a build context in a child, and we're gonna actually pop that over there so we can see very clearly what's going on. So the context is just gonna be the current context and the child, we're going to show a new simple dialog. And the simple dialog has got a few properties. And what we're going to do is we're going to say the title and children. So title. Do you like Flutter? And for the children, see that's an array of widgets. So we can add literally anything we want to this. We could say like, you know, raised button, or we could say text or, you know, radio or whatever we want. But there is a widget specifically for this thing, and it's a new simple dialogue option. Let's get the simple dialogue option in there. And the simple dialogue option has an on pressed, which we're just going to say null for now, and a child property. And the child, we're just going to say add a couple little, you know, things in there. And for the on pressed, let's do
navigator dot pop and it takes the context and it takes a dynamic result so the dynamic result is going to be answers dot yes so really what we're doing is when this is pressed we're going to pop the navigator under the current context with that and num value right there and we just grab this little guy and I'm sure there is a much more streamlined way of doing this but I want it to be very obvious what this program is doing expected to find oh dirt completely forgot so much for copy and paste saving us time and then we have our maybe we have the skeptical maybe in there so um, just to kind of recap here this function returns future null which means we're actually not returning anything it's an asynchronous function it's asynchronous because the show dialog is async we have to await on that we're gonna switch on the value returned out of that and what this does is it takes a enum which we have up here and basically says hey which one of these do you want so you have simple dialog option that has the enum values in it and you are popping the navigator meaning pushing that data back I shouldn't say pushing you're popping the data back that's the correct way of saying it all right now what we need to do is just simply say hmm there's our answer Say new raise button. I'm just gonna say click me, and then of course we are just gonna say bang bang and ask the user. Now this should work. Let's bring this up in our emulator. Hmm, seems to be taking a long time to compile these days. I really didn't do anything super complex. I wonder if it's my computer. There we go. So we have a you answered blank and if we say click me, do you like Flutter? Yes, no, maybe. And we're going to say yes because we love Flutter. And it says answered yes. So you can see how you can pretty much do anything you want here. Now, the really neat thing about this is you can add other things because it is a, where is it, a array of widgets here. You can, you're not just constrained to the simple dialogue option. You can say something like, I have no idea what to put there, just icons.home or something like that. Hot reload should take care of that. And then we have a home icon at the bottom here. You can put buttons, icons, whatever you want. Um, it's actually very, very convenient. So if you wanted to do like a radio list group, um, you know, so you have radios to check from or check boxes or, you know, do you like Flutter? Maybe. And then like a little input field or something like that. You can do all of that. It's very, very straightforward. So that's it for this tutorial. I'm going to click yes because I like Flutter. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You can find the source code for this and all of the tutorials out on my website, voidrealms.com. And be sure to join the Void Realms Facebook group. I can't push that enough. Everybody sends me emails and questions. Join the Void Realms Facebook book, Facebook group. Ask questions out there. There's 1,700 other programmers because I'm not always available. And that's it. Thanks for watching.